Good afternoon everyone. This is Linda with Linda's Zoo Plants for you. Today I'm going to um, start with my string of bananas. Um, I have quite a number of videos planned and I know I have said that before but I truly do and um, on different topics and I'm hoping that I can bring them to you more frequently than uh, over the last month, uh, I had some, uh, a few lulls in my videotaping, um, but <clears throat> it, I think we're on an upswing here, and I think they'll be coming on a more regular basis. So today I want to start with um, my badly neglected um, string of bananas, and I remember hearing someone and I think it was Angie from Angie's uh, Jungle House, I believe. The first time I heard the term, I, th I think she quoted the, she quoted the term uh, pot of shame. And if, if that is you, Angie, thank you for that because I don't know what else I would refer to this as. And I hope I got the, um, the person right. If not, I apologize. But... Um, <laughs> And the reason, of course, is pretty obvious. You can see at the top how terrible this looks. And this is very typical of the Senecio family and of other uh, hanging plants as well. <clears throat> One of the things that happens, and I talk about, or have talked about this quite a bit in previous videos, is if we don't get the correct sunlight on the top of the soil, it's it's not going to thrive. It, it will grow, uh, but it won't be what it should be. And oftentimes, I've seen people uh, with string of pearls, and they're you know asking me how do you get them so full. That is that's the key, is to get that top of the soil perfect. Um, <clears throat> now I did have good lighting in here. What I didn't have was good access for me. Um, it was a little bit of a, uh, a maze that I had to get through to get to this plant to water it. So one of the things that I'm trying to do in my home is um, rearrange plants to make them easier for me to get at according to the needs of the plant. You know, how often they have to be watered. Uh, some plants I can reach two feet away and use my watering can and I know if it's got enough water and they do fine. Other plants like this one I really should be able to see the top of that soil when I water it and see how it's doing up here. And <clears throat> had I done that, I wouldn't have what I have now. But all is not lost, and that's why I'm doing the video. Um, there are two things I want to point out here. One is, if you can see, let me see if I can turn this without breaking anything off. If you can see this um, right here, this junction where there are two um, vines coming out of one that is very typical of hanging plants <clears throat> what happens is wherever you cut a, a plant like this whether it's you know string of bananas string of hearts string of pearls it, it's going to branch off it's just like when you trim a tree <clears throat> and you you know, trim the branches, wherever you cut back, it's going to get thicker and fuller in that spot and produce new growth. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. For those of you that want the long, straight vines hanging down, don't cut them. Don't, for instance, um, this vine is, it's very, very long. It's um, probably about three feet long. And, I apologize for the, uh, I don't have a cameraman, <clears throat> so, and if I try to pick this up, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to get caught on the sand, and uh, I don't want to do that. So, just um, know that when you, if you want long strands like this, don't clip them, you know, halfway down or six inches down. When you want to make this plant thicker, you're gonna, you can do one of two things. You can either cut it right up here at the base or close to it and you're going to get two new shoots or you can do what I'm going to do right now 
and I'm going to show you, <coughs> excuse me, as best that I can. Um, I'm starting with this, it's 22 gauge floral wire. I got this at a rummage sale, or an estate sale, I believe, many, many years ago. Um, and I used it for my um, when I did flower arranging. So <clears throat> I still have a lot of that left, and it goes a long way. Uh, this is, like I said, 22 gauge. It's not very um, strong. It's it, it, it bends very easily. And you can cut it with the scissors, but uh, you shouldn't do that to your scissors. I have two tools here. I have a side cutters, which I brought out for the purposes of showing you. Um, but this is really overkill. I don't need this strong or big of a, of a tool to cut this. Um, and I also have a small spring-loaded wire cutter. And there may be another name for this tool, but that's what I know it as. And I have several of these, and I love them because partly because they're spring-loaded and partly because they're very sharp. And as you're going to see right now, I'm just going to cut. And I'm going to grab the end of it because I don't want it to go flying like it just did. <clears throat> and I'm going to take it and make it into a U-shape. Now, some of you have have used other types of tools like this. This one, because I have so much of it, is what I'm choosing for today. You can use anything that you want to secure this down. Some people use um, paper clips and they just open them up all the way and fold them in half. And um, Years ago, I used to use hairpins, uh, not to be confused with bobby pins, because bobby pins are too, um, they're too strong and too close together. Hairpins are actually pretty much this shape and they have like a little a little ridge in them I'm hoping you can see this and I apologize folks I'm doing this backwards from the way I normally film so I'm a little clumsy here today okay um, <clears throat> but at any rate hairpins I've been looking for them I can't find them I'm gonna keep looking for them because they are perfect They've got a little bit of a ridging in the metal that helps keep it in the soil if the plant wants to pop out. So um, I'm still on the hunt for those. I'm sure they got to sell them somewhere. And for the older people that are watching this, like myself, you will remember that hairpins is something that the beauty parlors used to use when we had those updo hairdos. I myself never had that, but... I know my mom did for years. You know, they would perm it and backcomb it and tease it and rat it and then they'd put it up in a in a bun and then they would put that bun up the back of the head and that's how they secured the hair to keep it from coming out. And I'm glad we don't have hair to, hair to like that anymore. <laughs> um, now I'm not going to go around with each little um, strand here, although that is really the ideal way to do it and the proper way to do it. But because I have so much, um, it, I'd be here all day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take a couple of these strands and I'm going to put them in the top of the pot. And I think I'm going to do this one because it's just not looking real great. And hopefully you can see, I'm just winding it around. And I might take one more. Now, I think I'm going to put this one up here too. And it doesn't matter what direction they go in. It's really best if you wind it in the direction that it's already kind of wanting to go. Um, then you reduce the risk of breakage. All right. Okay. 
Okay. And I think that's going to do it. I thought I would put more of these up in there, but I don't want to overcrowd it. I don't want it to... I don't want them to uh, damp, dampen off either, so... I, I cleaned it up as best I could before I started filming. Or I should say recording, because we're not using film. And... I think this is going to do it for me on this one. I've got enough around the sides of the pot, and I'm going to give you a look at that when I'm done securing these, okay? Uh, I should say, too, that when I started, um, <clears throat> before I turned on the camera, I did, I took a uh, skewer, a wooden skewer, a pointed one, and I went around and loosened up the soil a little bit. And I get a little nervous about doing that because I don't want to ruin any, I don't want to poke any roots. But sometimes it can't be helped, and in this case it couldn't be helped because the, the, hard, the top of the soil was rather hard, and I just wanted to make sure that um, <clears throat> I was getting, that all the roots are going to get, when I water, that they're all going to get water. Not that, sometimes when soil gets real hard at the top, uh, it, it sometimes forms like a, like a, in a river inside the dirt. It makes its own channel is the word I'm looking for. And you, you, you water up here and you think that you're watering the whole plant when in fact the water tends to go where that opening is and sometimes it goes all down in that channel and the rest of it's not getting watered at all. So that's another thing to watch out for with any plant actually. And I'm going to put a couple just a few in here of these pins. And I can catch quite a few of them with this pin. <clears throat> and I should probably also mention it's not absolutely necessary that you do this part. I have successfully propagated um, other hanging plants in this manner just by wrapping it around the top and leaving it, you know, gently pushing it into the soil with my fingers and, and leaving it alone. So if you haven't got any, any means of securing these, don't, don't worry about it. Go ahead and wind it around and just you have to check it more often, okay? Um, another thing that I've used in the past is the uh, those uh, twist ties that they look like red ties but they're longer. They usually come with bags, baggies or yard bags. Those work too. The only problem is you want to scrape off the paper if they're paper covered. You don't want that to be getting wet and rotting in your in your soil. Okay, so I've got four pretty good size pins in here and that's all I'm going to put in for now. I'm going to give this a good watering, and I'm going to keep a close eye on this for the next week or two um, to make sure that none of these are rotting. And that's another reason why I only use four pins, because it's a lot easier to take them out if I can see where they are, and I know there's not a ton of them in there. Because sometimes this you might get one of these strands or part of one of these strands that just for whatever reason didn't make it, and now it's intertwined with everything else, and it's decaying and you don't want to leave that in there so <clears throat> that's why I just use the four on this size pot all right and um, I think that's it uh, I'm going to be putting this in my east window as I stated in one of my earlier videos I want to make a curtain in my dining room um, I've got four very large windows in the corner of my dining room, and two of the windows are east-facing and two are south-facing. And I love that spot in my house, probably the best of anywhere. And um, I had that big coleus in there for a while, but it wasn't, it, it outgrew its space. So I have since given that plant to my daughter, and she is trying to keep it going now. And... <clears throat> um, so I'm going to replace with these. Now I can see there's some roots sticking up here. 
and I didn't notice that before. They look kind of dry though, but you know what? That's okay. We're not going to worry about it. All right. Now let's see if I can give you a, a better shot of this whole plant without making you dizzy. I know I've had a few people say that to me, and I apologize for that, but... Okay, I hope you can see. I've got the plant on a stand, and I hope that you can see how far down this goes. It's actually winding around the floor. Maybe I can zoom in a little bit. Um, there we go. Look at that. I'm getting better at that zooming, aren't I? Do you remember when I first started using that zoom lens? And I went so fast you couldn't even see? That was funny. Okay. Oh, I might have spoke too soon. Alright, I'm going to zoom out. And... Show you the whole stand. It's not going to stay on the stand. I just put it there for ease of being able to work on it and for purposes of this video. All right. Now let's see if I can get a shot of the whole plant here, and you'll be able to see all the vines hanging down. All right. Alright, I think you get the idea. I hope so. When I get it hung up where I'm going to put it, I'll be doing an update. Um, I've got a few other plants I'm going to put there too, so um, once I do that, I will let you all um, see how it looks. And I look forward to that, to bringing that to you. Alright. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye now.